and we got very get very upset when some African countries choose to uh, cast to abstain, for example, from from the vote. Because you, what are you abstaining for? You are abstaining from uh, support of inter of independence, sovereignty, and territorial integrity. All of the principles that you value. Thank you for joining us again, and welcome back to our channel. In this episode. We are looking at the Ukraine foreign minister's visit to the continent of Africa, where he urged African nations to ditch their neutrality with regards to the Russian-Ukrainian war. In his recent visit to the continent of Africa, Ukrainian foreign minister Dmitry Kuleba is urging African countries to abandon their stance of neutrality towards his country's war with Russia. Many African countries have refused to take sides in the European conflict with several abstaining from votes at the United Nations General Assembly condemning Russia's invasion. Ethiopia is one of them. Speaking in Addis Ababa, the Ethiopian capital, recently, Kuleba said Ukraine was very upset that some African countries choose to abstain and called them to lend Ukraine's diplomatic support in the face of Russian aggression. He moved ahead to say neutrality is not the answer. He told reporters regarding his own presence and looking at the press conference which he had. By being neutral towards Russian aggression against Ukraine, you project neutrality to the violation of borders and mass crimes that may occur very close to you. In a recent interview by Associate Press, he actually said this. But if I look at the last latest resolution adopted by the UN General Assembly in February 2023 on restoring peace, lasting peace in Ukraine. 141 countries voted in favor of it. And many African countries did, and Asian and Latin America, once again demonstrating that there is no such uh, division between the South and North. Unfortunately, our uh, relations with African countries did not receive proper attention uh, in the in our foreign policy for years, and we lost a lot. So, um, since the be since the beginning of the presidency of uh, President Zelensky, we worked hard on uh, reinvigorating our relationship with Africa. He spoke with many leaders. I did my first African tour last October. This is my second one. And uh, we are working hard to do three things. First, to convey a message that Ukraine wants to build direct relations with African nations based on three principles. Mutual respect, mutual interest, and mutual benefit. Moving forward, Russia has built a substantial presence in several parts of Africa where Russian private military contractors, the Wagner is active and recently held joint military drills with South Africa. Russia plans to hold an African-Russian summit in July. Kuleba also called on African countries to endorse the 10-point peace formula proposed by President Vladimir Zelensky in December and emphasized Ukraine's wish to build mutually beneficial relationship with Africa based on trade in energy, technology and also pharmaceutical. Moving ahead, we have to remind each other, Mr. Kuleba said, of the importance of Africa to Ukraine and the importance of Ukraine to Africa. Kuleba actually admitted that Ukraine's previous attitude towards the continent was characterized by inertia, based on his own words. Both Ukraine and Russia supply a significant amount of grain to Africa. Kuleba is currently on an African tour that also includes visits to Morocco and Rwanda. In Ethiopia, he held discussions uh, with Ethiopian Prime Minister Abe Ahmed, African Union's Commission Chairperson Musa Faki Mohamed and Azali Asumani, the President of the Cameroons and the current Chair of the Continent Wide Body. Kuleba made his first trip to Africa in October when he visited Senegal, Ivory Coast and Ghana including Kenya. The trip was cut short after Russian launched strikes against Ukrainian infrastructure. His Russian counterpart, Sergei Lavrov, has also been very active in shoring up ties with African countries since the Ukrainian war broke out. 
touring the continent once in 2022 and making at least two visits so far with regards to this year. Let us know what you think with regards to the current position and the challenge that Ukrainian Foreign Minister has asked the continent of Africa to take up to uh, their heels. This was also analyzed by the African channel called The African News. Take a listen. Ukraine on Thursday said it would open more embassies in Africa and stage a summit with leaders from the continent where Russia is also carrying out a diplomatic offensive. Ukraine's Foreign Minister Kuleba is currently on a tour of Africa where he made an appeal from Addis Ababa on Wednesday to Ukraine's African friends to end their declared neutrality in the war. In February, 22 of the African Union's 54 member states abstained or did not vote on the UN General Assembly resolution marking the one-year anniversary of the war that called for Russia withdrawn from Ukraine. Kuleba, in his statement, stressed the effort to unblock Ukraine grain exports, which have been unstrung by Russia's naval blockade of its ports. We want to thank you for watching. Hopefully, we've informed you with regards to the geopolitics that is warming up the continent of Africa. Keep the conversation going. If you are new to this channel, we encourage you to check some of our informative videos on this YouTube channel. We are looking forward to meeting you soon in our next episode. Give this video a like and have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.